Now we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create an animated underline. You can use that for your text in videos. We'll start right here with a simple 5 second clip. I use the type tool to create, let's say, an underline text. When you've got this segment selected, you will find under the effect controls your text and you can open a drop down and you have all of these options to adjust it. For example, make it regular. I select this text by the way with the type tool, so I left click on it, then I press Ctrl A. Can resize it, give it a different color. But we're good here with white. We can move on to the line. But let me first put the text somewhat in center. And now, if you want to add a line, just use this pen tool right here. But be careful, now I've got this text element active and if I add the line it's going to be in the same element. So here's the text, there's the underline shape. We don't want that, so let me press Ctrl Z. And then deselect everything in your timeline. And now use the pen tool and a new element will be automatically created. You can see we've got now three elements in the timeline and the top one is our underline. So not the text, but the shape. You want to have it straight, so you can see these little steps, you don't want them. You have to have a calm hand, but now we should be fine here. Maybe I make it a bit smaller, as long as you've got the pen to active, you can still adjust these anchor points. So the left, the start point and the right, the end point. Let me size the element down a little bit, so that it has the same endpoint. For now it's just there, so we haven't animated it. Let us adjust it. You need to have this element active in the timeline and there's the shape. Open the drop down. You want to have the fill color set to the same as the stroke color. In this case I stick to white. And the stroke actually determines the thickness. We can go up and down here with this number. Let me try a value of like 10 to maybe 20. This should work for my text. And once you're done with it, you may want to animate it. So go to your shape once again, there's a transform drop down, open it if it's not open, uncheck the uniform scale and we want to use horizontal scale. We go to the start position right here and start the animation by clicking on the clock icon. Here's our keyframe, then we move on, let's say to this position and I add a new keyframe. This one should be set to 100 and the starting to zero. And now if we roll the clip, you can see this line is animated. And it goes from left to right. We can improve the results by selecting these key frames, then right click and ease it in. By default it's animated in a linear fashion, so by easing it in it's going to slow it down a little bit at the end point. If you don't want the animation to start on the left hand side, you can use the anchor point. And when you have it active, you can see this icon right here and you can drag it to the right hand side, for example. And now the animation starts from right to left. So this can also be done. Let's just say you want to start it in center. Just drag this icon to the center position of your line. And the animation starts in center, so this works, but I have to move this line to the left a little bit with the cursor tool right here. And then I reposition the anchor to the center, which is indicated by these two dots. And now let me roll the clip again. 
The line starts in center and then goes to the left and right. And this is how you can create an animated underline in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.